Hey there. So, <clears throat> we are making progress as we're in the habit of doing. Now, in the backyard, you might remember, this was waist deep in trash from here all the way to the back. We've gotten rid of that, thank God. Also, there's two awnings. We got rid of those. Alan took those to his house. He's gonna make other things. We're recycling. We also have a bunch of metal if anybody wants it for free. If you're a scrapper, come get it. But today, we also trimmed all these trees and all this brush and all this yuck out of the way, all the way around the house. And now the poison ivy's gone. And you know what that makes me? Happy. Now, in the Bible, uh, it says that we are the body of Christ, okay? Now, the body has many parts, but everybody can't be the eyeball, and everybody can't be the mouth, and everybody can't be the nose or the feet or the heart or whatever in the world. But if one body part is at war with the other body part and not doing its part, the whole thing hurts. So here's what I'm suggesting. We need to get on the same page, okay? We would be unstoppable. The world would be changed in a week if we just did that. But instead, we keep bickering with each other and fighting. Now, there's something that is known as the priesthood of all believers. It's never actually said the priesthood of all, of all believers in the Bible, but what it says is you have all become priests, right? In other words, you don't need to have a degree. You don't need to be ordained. Um, what you need to be is you're a Christian, therefore, by default, you are a saint. You don't have to do some amazing thing to be a saint. You are a saint because of what Jesus did, okay? And if that's true, if we're all saints and if we're all priests, in, in you know in God's family then it's all of our job to do what we put on our pastors okay so if if we just trust them to do everything be like you do all the praying you do all the loving you do all the visiting of the sick you do all the all the hard things and we're just gonna work and we'll pay some tithe and that's that's all we're gonna do then it's no wonder that the body of Christ is sick but if we all decide, hey, we're all gonna pitch in, we're gonna do our part, we take personal responsibility and we go, I need to love the person in front of me. I need to, to help the person that I see and not worry about some program doing that or somebody else doing that, but take personal accountability and go, I'm gonna do that. You know, the Amish do this, okay? If they have a barn raising, one person doesn't sit there and build a barn for the next six years. Everybody in the community comes together and they build a barn in a day. Everybody pitches in, they build a barn in a day because when it's their turn, then they come and build their barn in a day, and it works better. They're, together, we're better than the sum of our parts. You know, I've, I've heard about, I've never seen it personally, uh, people do the math on how much a house weighs, and they're like, okay, but then we need this many handles in this many places, and then everybody's like on the count of zero, and they all lift, and they can pick a house up and move it with enough people and put it back down, because once you do the math, you go, well, that's not that impossible. It's like 30, 40 pounds a piece, and so it's actually not that difficult to do. However, nobody gets past them. We're so individualistic, so selfish in our community, in our country especially, that we never do anything amazing. And my suggestion is this, let's do amazing things. Let's get together, let's get on the same page. Let's stop bickering about stupid little things and worry about basics like, are you saved? And you know, like, do you love your neighbor as yourself? And do you love God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and strength? Do that, let's, let's focus on that because we can't get that right. So if we do that first, then we can worry about other things. That's my suggestion. We're going to do our part to end world hunger by going to eat lunch.